So I get this question a lot, Roxy, what do you do to maintain great skin? What is your beauty regimen like? What type of procedures do you get done on your face? Do you get any procedures on your face? What do you recommend we do for hyperpigmentation, for skin rejuvenation, for skin hydration, for anti-aging? Well, guess what? I've come to visit my friends over here at Boris Cosmetic and my mom and I actually brought my mom along with me. We're getting a treatment done called the skin pen. And basically we're both gonna leave with bloody faces, but I heard it's a lot less painful than what it looks like. So I'm about to walk in and we're gonna get the scoop from Anna, the RN that's doing this treatment on us. She's gonna numb our face first and then we're gonna get started. So I can't wait to show you guys exactly what the skin pen procedure looks like follow my journeys because I know you love them boo <laughs> first things first right do we are you gonna know more face Absolutely, yes, um, because we're actually going to be treating the second layer of the skin. Actually, not only the second layer, but the first layer, epidermis and dermis layer. So in order to get that um, aggressive or get a good treatment, you have to go to first and second layer of the skin. Therefore, you need numbing. Otherwise, it will be painful. So numbing goes on for about 30 minutes to about an hour, depending on your pain tolerance. And normally, obviously, it's washed with um, antibi um, antibacterial soap and whatnot, and then there's we use the serum that has antioxidants, collagen, all the great stuff before we start the actual treatment. And I want to say most people are very comfortable once the numbing cream and everything is all set up. Oh my God, so the skin pen, let's talk about this. How many needles does the skin pen have? The the skin pen has about 26 needles and I'll be showing you guys in a moment. Um, they're all 32 gauge. I know the gauging part oh, sounds like That sounds weird. so intimidating. Well, what that means, they're like Botox needles. That's the size that Botox Oh, needles. and Botox yeah. needles are little. So, but imagine you're using like multiple of them at the same time. So you're actually going to the fir first, obviously you have to pass through the first layer of your skin, which is the epidermis, and you go to your second layer, dermis of the skin. So that's what we're gonna be working on today because that's yes. where you wanna help to regenerate collagen. You pick up some of the pig superficial pigmentation that most people have around that layer, but most importantly, it helps to um, regenerate the collagen to help with the scarring and just overall have healthy skin. I've never had my whole face numb. anything awesome. this is cool. amazing you guys honestly as human beings we overthink things sometimes instead of just like going for it because mm -hmm. I can't even feel my skin I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing oh my god I can't feel anything yeah. awesome. ah! this is relax, amazing you guys relax, okay relax. Oh my god, this is amazing, you guys. I don't feel one ounce of pain. This is what, thank you, Anna. Shout out to everyone that's a chicken when it comes to pain. <laughs> Come and see Anna. She gives you stuff that you don't feel nothing. Yeah. Uh, I know. Oh that's my a good god, one. no, seriously, you Anna. You something so you would feel nothing. I want to say, I want to say. She gives you something so you don't feel nothing. I like the pain, that. The pain, oh, yeah, on a scale from that. one to 10, the pain is like. 0.5. Wow. Nice. Am I bleeding? There, no. no, not yet. You're getting a little red, which is actually a great yeah. response of your skin. It's the inflammatory process, which yeah. is the phase one. This is the inflammation. That means we're good. We're getting pretty deep there. Yeah. You might start seeing a little bit of bleeding as I go over the areas. And how many needles are working right now? About 20 to 32. We are actually almost done with this procedure. I really thought that it was gonna be a lot more painful because when you look at the pictures of the face, the way it looks after it, you just judge it right away, right? But Anna, I gotta say, you've made this experience super tolerable. Your skin is gonna start looking a little healthier. Is there a certain age that you recommend getting this at? Or can, is there an age where you can be too young? Um, obviously, usually, 
like teenagers probably not the best time unless they have pretty controlled acne because at that time they have it pretty active so i would say like starting in your 20s will be this is a great way to start taking care of your skin almost done i have to stay out of the sun for about a week right yes, yes. and lots of sunscreen lots of it and always wear like a, a hat and stuff just but anna let's day. really talk about like just let's talk about the importance of sunscreen so many women mm -hmm. don't add sunscreen to their daily beauty regimen oh, no. how terrible is that it's super bad um let me just tell you that's the number one aging uh, factor to on our daily like activities just on our daily day even when it's overcast if you don't wear a lot of people think oh it's raining or it's overcast i'm not wearing sunscreen it's actually worse you're damaging your cells so bad and it ages you faster i've noticed people that have actually don't use any sunscreen they age faster than those that smoke or drink all right guys so this is the third day after my microneedling treatment and I'm putting the last of the ointment that Anna told me, my nurse at Boris Cosmetic, told me to put on. She said I gotta put this on every day for the three days after my session before I go to bed. So I just got, prep, got back from an event, spreading it all over my face. I gotta tell you, microneedling, the Pictures look a lot more intimidating than what it really is. It's not that painful. The texture that I've seen on my face after this treatment is amazing. I can't wait to get my next treatment done. So, good night. Till next time. You know, the next time you catch yourself saying or thinking that healthy eating or healthy alternatives or making good dishes that are healthy for you is boring or challenging, I just want you to like get your hand and like slap yourself. Slap yourself because it's really not. If you think it's hard, it's gonna be hard. But today's dish, I'm gonna teach you how to make a side dish. It can accompany chicken, steak, or you can eat it by itself. Literally, you guys, you're looking at the ingredients in front of me. Four ingredients and you get an amazing dish. Let's create some magic.